Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we are finally continuing with our Coliseum playthrough. I know it's been a while and I apologize for that, but we are getting back into it and hopefully we'll get some more episodes up more consistently now. We'll see, I've just been really busy with work, but we will get there. So I hope you guys are excited for this video. If you are, please, please, please smash that like button. It really does show your support and let's get into it. So we were raiding this base basically. I think, is it mirror bees? And I need to click the thing. Um, we have a healing machine right here, which is good. I already fought you, right? Yes. Alright, let's explore the rest of this level before we go up, because... Elevator's off limits, of course it is. I did not do any kind of grinding or anything, so hopefully we won't need it. Because I figure we can't, um, purify our shadow Pokemon yet, so the level shouldn't go too far up, I don't think. I could be wrong. My dog is behind me. For those of you who don't know, she is... It's currently nighttime. For me, it's like 11.54 at night right now when I'm recording this. So, yeah, she's currently having a nice little time back there just laying on the rug, so... Okay, I should have attacked Trap Inch because I don't think this took... Oh no, it took Fan out. Okay. I didn't know if it would, but it did. Okay. But yeah, I've been slacking on getting this series out. I've been slacking on a few things, honestly. I've been really busy with work and just other things, but I've got some projects in the works that I hope you guys are going to be very excited to see. Alright, we'll just double attack it. All good. There we go. Trap Inch is down. I would not mind a Trap Inch at all, but I don't think we're going to get one. <laughs> that would be nice. Get a nice, powerful Flygon. Like, that would be fun. I want a Flygon. <laughs> I am kind of happy with this Croconaw, though, because it has Surf, and that hits... No matter what. Oh, okay. Okay, wait, so this is just the front, then. Okay. And this is where we came from, so we have to go up those stairs. Okay. Alright. Hopefully we'll get this space fully explored by the time we get done with this recording. Looking for a chance to go wild, alright. What's up, bandana guy? What's up? Larvitar and a Carvana. Alright, is the music too loud? Can't tell. I'm gonna turn down just a tad. I think it's okay, but just in case, you know? Alright. Um, let's go. I'm gonna bite the Carvana and then surf. Just because that one's gonna be the harder one to take out. Or not. <laughs> let's go, Umbreon. Umbreon ain't messing around. There goes Larvitar. I'm assuming, will he have a Shadow Pokemon? He's got three. So there's a chance he has one. I don't know what it'll be, though. If it is, we're gonna try and get it for sure. I'm um, on level 32, let's go. A Barboach. You're, I doubt you're a Shadow Pokemon. Yeah. Even if it, if it were, that's not as huge of a deal, because we already have Croconaw, and I plan on keeping Croconaw on the team. Because a powerful Feraligator would be good. Didn't even take it out. Okay. That's fine. It's fine. We're doing alright so far, so... I think we're okay. I think we'll be fine. <laughs> Who knows, though? <laughs> Who knows? We'll probably encounter something that's just like, Haha, just kidding. You're not fine. <laughs> you thought you were fine, psych. No, you're not. I think the Surf on for, on a Croconaw will come in handy, though. Because it hits both opponents, but not your other Pokémon, which is nice. Okay. 
Okay, another person there. What do you got? Any shadow Pokemon? A Remoraid and a Magnemite. That is not good for Croconaw. May need to switch here. May want to switch, but to who is the question? See, that Magnemite makes me nervous, so I'm gonna attack it first. Um. What do you know? Oh, wait, have I not. Oh, your heart gauge is still really high. Okay. Uh, I'm actually just gonna double attack that Magnemite and use, like, the Shadow Rush. Because maybe we can take it out before it does any real damage. And there's a healing machine downstairs, so I'm not too terribly worried about this. I should put Quagsire up front, though. I really should. Psybeam. Okay, they're attacking Croconaw. At least that one is. Magnemite flinched, let's go. Alright, uh, let's bite you and Shadow Rush Magnemite. Alright, are you gonna flinch? That would be nice. Shadow Rush. And there goes Magnemite, alright. Good deal, good deal. <laughs> good deal. And you flinched, let's go. Alright, we may want to run downstairs and heal really quick. Luckily enough, there's a healing machine right in this building. Because that's nice, so we don't have to like run out every time to that hotel. Or motel, whatever it is. Same difference, you know? Same difference. In this universe, anyway. <laughs> Same thing. Okay, wait, what? Okay. Yuki, move. Uh, let's go down and heal very, very quickly. It's right here. Just to get Croconaw back to full HP, I feel like we should put Quagsire up front. Because you're the only one with your heart gauge like that, aren't you? Because, yeah, you're down. So I was knocked out. Okay. So the only one with us... Right now, that doesn't have fully lowered heart gauge, just you. Yuki, you're in the way. <laughs> you're just in the way, Yuki. Alright, what's back here? Ooh, what's this thing? Oh, it's out of order. Okay. Alright. No lemonade or fresh water for us. Don't even know if it would allow that, but. Wait, we can go in there. Hello. Another bandana guy. All They're all called bandana guys. <laughs> a wingle, alright. And a whooper. I think we'll be fine. Alright, let's just double attack one, then. It's okay. It's fine. Come on. Okay, now if Quagsire... Mm, Quagsire. <laughs> We're doing this again, guys. We're doing this again. This happens every time. Every time. Call you. <laughs> Get out of hyper mode, Quagsire. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Who you growling? Don't be Umbreon. Gosh dang it. <laughs> Gosh dang it. <laughs> like legit. Legit. Okay, Wooper is the only one left, and we have the evolved form of you, so hopefully that'll be the good sign that says, hey, we can win. I'm pretty sure we're fine, but Quagsire is going to make this even more difficult. Keep going into hyper mode. If you do that again... Oh, never mind. Doesn't matter. 
Goodbye, Wooper. <laughs> oh, goodbye, Wooper. There we go. That wasn't that bad. That was not that bad at all. Alright, what's in here? Great ball. Five great balls. Nice. Okay, nothing in here. Yuki, you gotta move. <laughs> you gotta move, girl. And there's a big guy. You're like bug Pokemon drawn to a candle? I mean, I just found a place that I wasn't supposed to be and decided to go explore it. You know, what a, whatever, you know, the usual stuff. <laughs> Some electric types. Good thing we swapped out Croconaw then, because Croconaw would not do well here. I don't know if we'll continue to use Quagsire or not. But I think regardless of that, it's good to have for now. Okay, that's that's fine, that's fine. Wouldn't mind an electric on the team, honestly. I would not mind that. We do have Flaffy. But I would not mind an electric. I do like a main etric. I do like me a good main etric. Alright. Alright, just as Voltorb should be fine. He's just charging. That's all he's doing, so we should be just fine. Gosh darn it. Okay, we're definitely healing after this, because I don't want to deal with that. Paralysis. Quagsire. You're not supposed to. <laughs> Fine. Well, we're healing up to this anyway, so the more damage it takes, the more worth it it'll be. Okay, you're paralyzed. And you're not. Haha. <laughs> so close. <laughs> so close. There goes Quagsire. Oh yeah, because Quagsire's the only one not paralyzed. <laughs> it's like, he's speedy, he's speedy for one, so that no, he's the only one not paralyzed, so it makes sense. Alright. See, I'm gonna have to start training up Espeon as well. Because the others aren't gonna get the levels like those two are right now. They'll still, they'll get the experience when we purify them, but... I don't know when that'll be, you know? Like, I don't know when we get to purify them. I'm hoping soon. I mean, I can hope. Because right now they can't gain levels at where they're at. And I need them to get stronger. I mean, they're doing fine right now. But I need the levels. Dodo and a ladybug. All right, all right. That's not bad. We should be fine. That's not. That shouldn't be that difficult. Keyword shouldn't be. Uh, double attack. Okay, how many times are you gonna hit? <laughs> Two. Three. Okay, only three, I think. Yeah. And close. Quacks, are you gonna hit or are you going in hyper mode? <laughs> Please actually hit and don't go into hyper mode. <laughs> what? You, and, you like your double- your multiple attacks, don't you? Does your other Pokemon have Fury Swipes? <laughs> I'd be willing to bet. Okay, maybe not willing to bet, but it would would not surprise me. Oh, it's a Swablu. Okay, maybe not. <gasps> Don't think Swablu can learn Fury Swipes. Well, let's just go double attack that. Why not? I'm not really concerned about the Lady Bus, so... Supersonic. Oh, gosh. Maybe I should have been... You little. 
You know Fury Attack, that's what you know. Phone's vibrating. Sorry if you guys could hear that. <laughs> Come on, Quagsire. Yes! Let's go. <laughs> oh, so close. <laughs> so close. <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. Umbreon can take it out and then Quagsire try and Shadow Rush the Ladybug. He might go into hyper mode. He may just go into hyper mode. Well, this is nice. <laughs> this is real nice, guys. Both Pokemon paralyzed. Oh, and one's hyper mode. Yay. Well, at least he didn't hurt himself. <laughs> I guess I can't complain too much there. He didn't hurt himself. Or she, excuse me. She didn't hurt herself. <laughs> so used to my Pokemon being male. <laughs> I feel like most of the time in my playthroughs, my Pokemon are male. Most of the time. And it's not even, even intentional. It just happens. Because some of them are more likely to be male. Like, your starter, I'm pretty sure, is more likely to be male. It just uses supersonic. Well, I mean, it, she's not hurting herself. Oh, wait. I meant to call Quagsire. Whoops. That's fine. It's fine. I meant to call Quagsire. Oh wait, it works still. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's just better to call them at that point because then it gets their shadow, their gauge down. Their heart gauge. Is that what it's called? Something like that. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Alright. Gonna keep storming this place, legit. <laughs> Just gonna keep on going. Spiel on a snow run. All right. Interesting. Would not mind an ice type either. Just saying. Just saying, game. You're still in hyper mode, so I do need to call you. There we go. No, that's fine. Yep, that's fine. Didn't do that much. We're good. Everything's good. We're all fine. Sphiel flinched. Awesome. And we'll just double attack the Sphiel, make sure it goes down. AC wind. Alright, doesn't that hit both? I want to say that hits both. Powder Snow did. Yep, it's both. And Quagsire's half HP. I would definitely want to heal soon. And we're back in hyper mode. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> always in hyper mode, guys. We're always in hyper mode. Well, we should be able to defeat this field this turn with Bite, I'm pretty sure. Or Snow Run will flinch us? Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> I beg of thee, don't flinch. And you flinched. Great. <laughs> Great. And Quagsire is going to go down in a minute. Um. I mean, if she goes down, it's fine. We can go heal. It's not that big a deal. Of course, I don't want her to go down. But... Alrighty. Get him, Umbreon. There ya go. Spiel is now down. Hey, and 33. Hey, let's go. Shadow Rush. Oh, you're gonna take yourself out, aren't you? <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> so close. All right, we're switching. Let's go Espeon. Switch out, just play it safe, you know, just play it safe. Alright, alright, that's fine, that's fine. All good, all good. Come on, take it out, Umbreon. There you go. Good job, buddy. And now we're just gonna go back down the stairs. <laughs> back down the stairs once again. <laughs> Say, so I think I, I have items, I'm pretty sure. But at this point, the healing machine is so close. Like, I see no reason why we can't just go back down there. You know, like, since it's right there. Like, if the healing machine were, like, very far away, I wouldn't do it. But it's right here. Alright. Back up. How many floors is this? Because I really would like to finish this in one go. One episode, you know? Like, one... One recording, you know? But we're already on 21 minutes. Ooh, anything in here? No. There's a night box in here. Revive. Hey, yes. Gladly take that. Your Pokemon can dance, alright. You you should meet Tierno and Kalos. Even though that region technically does not exist at this moment. Oddish scares me a little bit. <laughs> That's a little scary for me. I think we might switch into uh, Knocked Owl. Because I think Oddish could do a big chunk of damage to. Hang on, wait, go back. Attack the Oddish and then switch out to Knocked Owl. Because I don't trust this. <laughs> I do not trust this. Other occasions, maybe I would risk it, but let's not do that this time. Because we could get the flinch, but again, can't really count on it, so... That's a little scary. <laughs> I know it's just a horsey, but Dragon Dance is a little scary. Okay, I'm gonna do that, and then you do... Fly on the Oddish. Wish I didn't knew a different flying type attack, but that's fine. See, you got this knocked out. You got this. Oh, so close. <gasps> Pedal dance. Good thing we swapped, because that could have been very bad. Okay, another dragon dance. That's fine. Take you out with another bite. And that will do that for the horsey. I should take out the Oddish, no problem. Yep, there we go. Easy. I shouldn't say that right now, should I? <laughs> the next fight, it's gonna be terrible. Hello, Sandshrew. Go, alright, and then we can just double attack the Sandshrew and call it good. Question is, do I risk a Shadow Rush? Eh, why not? That did nothing. <laughs> that did nothing. Okay, we're going fly next turn. <laughs> or not, never mind. I don't know. Well, we can do fly because Umbreon can take it out with a bite. Or we could just do that, honestly. Just to waste a turn, because I'm not going to do another Shadow Rush take damage when Umbreon can take it out. You know? Like, I'm not going to, like, let's let just let Umbreon take it out. It's no big deal.
Alrighty. Hey, GG. Say what compels me around here? Hello, bodybuilder. Do you have a shadow Pokemon? Cacnea and Tentacool. My guess is no, you don't. Oh well. That Cacnea still scares me a little bit. So I think I may. I'm gonna bite that. I am gonna switch again to Noctowl. Just again, gonna play this safe. Gonna play this safe. Alright, alright, we're okay, we're okay. We're fine. That did nothing. <laughs> that did nothing whatsoever. And now we're just sitting here taking pin missiles. Good lord. See, this is where Espeon would actually come in handy against that tentacle, because it is part poison. So I guess in reality I should switch. Why would I do that? <laughs> Why would I do that? It makes sense. Yeah, knock down, go up there. You bite, maybe make the tentacle flinch. That'd be good. Flinch it. Come on. Darn it. <laughs> I can hope, right? I can hope. Faint attack? That should not do that much. Yeah, we're fine. We are fine. Come on, take out the Cacnea. Yes, let's go. Flinch? We have not flinched this thing once. Come on. <laughs> all I want is a flinch. That's all I want. One flinch. What's wrong with one flinch? Okay. Yeah, just go for another fly. I'm not gonna waste time doing damage to myself when we can take this out in like two hits. And constrict. You can't flinch once. Like, how, how, how is that? How many times have I hit you? And you haven't flinched once? Like, what? What the heck? All I want is one flinch. That's all I want. Alrighty. We still won, so that's fine. But it's like... Come on, I just want to flinch. Okay, does this one work? Nope, out of order. We're at the roof. You have an intruder? I'm gonna go heal really quick, actually. <laughs> Because I know we're not really that weak, but just in case, like, I want to be at full health. Just in case this next fight proves to be a little tricky. Because I'm assuming, is it Mirror B up here? I would assume. Because isn't this his base, if I remember correctly? It's been so long since I've recorded, guys. Oh my goodness. It's been over a month since we did this la the last episode for this. And I feel so bad. <laughs> I also have to get- I have a couple of things I've got to get edited and uploaded and stuff like that. It's just... Hasn't happened yet. <laughs> oh gosh, guys. 
Hopefully this will all be a little better when I get my actual full-time job, but <laughs> until then. Okay, back in here. Let's go. Darling, aren't you one of Duking's people? What made you think that you could simply waltz in here? Such a silly boy. Where's Mirror B? I'm taking him down. Take him down? After the beating you took? That's too funny. You wait. I'm going to drive all of you out of this town. Oh, such a feisty boy. Don't tell me we have to take your Pokemon hostage to make you settle down, like we did with Duking. What? Yeah, how about no? Oh, we seem to be getting a lot of unexpected company today. But that's no excuse for being a bad host. Alright. Remoraid and a... Remoraid's level 20? And Spinarak's level 33. Okay, that's an odd level gap there, I feel like. But I'm not complaining. Oh, one of them's a shadow. Remoraid. That one's level 20, isn't it? Okay, I'm actually going to confuse that Remoraid then. Because maybe then it'll do damage to itself. Because if I hit it, it's probably going down. And I kind of don't want to risk that. Because I kind of... I don't know if I'll use it, but I at least want to catch it. Would you hit yourself, please? You're never going to hit yourself, are you? Probably not. <laughs> I mean, if we take it down, it's not the worst thing in the world, but at the same time, I'd rather not. Alright, spinner act down. So you had three Pokemon, didn't you? A love disc. Alright, that should not be terrible to take out. At least I don't think. And we missed, of course. Hate slam. Look how much damage it did to itself. I didn't do that. Agility, that's fine. You're already faster, love disc. Don't see why you have to use agility if you're already faster. I can take this thing out. Come on. So close. <laughs> Alright. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and bite the love disc, and I will throw a Pokeball at this Remoraid. See if we can snag it. That was close. Okay. That was close. We almost had it. Alright, take out the love disc. And hope it doesn't defeat itself and if it hits itself. If it does, again, not a huge deal. I don't think I'll be using it. But... Alright, let's use another Pokeball. And I'm just gonna Amnesia. Because I can't use two Pokeballs. <laughs> Not allowed, I tried. <gasps> and that didn't work. Let's go! It's my Rimmer right now. How did that happen? Unbelievable. Well, we better believe it. It happened. My Pokemon couldn't muster a thing. You're no ordinary trainer. Were you hired by Duking as his bodyguards? 
Let me warn you, if you mess with us, you better be prepared for the consequences. Alright, Firma, what do you got? Mantine and an a palm. Okay, I would assume neither of those are Shadow. Since Remoraid was only level 20 in a Shadow. No, wait, one's a Shadow. Mantine, okay. Alright, alright, um... Gonna see... A bubble Beam, alright. Ooh, that did quite a bit to Quagsire. Quagsire might go down here. If she does, it's fine, but... I'd rather not. I'd rather not. That did nothing. I guess that's okay, though, because we're trying to catch this thing anyway. Astonish. Alright, who are you using that on, Apom? Quagsire. Another bubble beam. And there goes Quagsire. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. We'll be okay. And the question is who to send in. Well, I guess... Do you know Thunderwave? You do. Okay, I'm sending in Flaffy. Flaffy can paralyze that Mantine. And then we can get it. That would give us so much more, like, a, such a better chance if we paralyze it. As long as Flappy doesn't flinch because of Astonish. Oh, and how much is Bubble Beam gonna do? Yeesh, Bubble Beam's doing a ton! That Mantine is trouble, I tell ya. Wave, there we go. That'll help tremendously. We might even be able to flinch it with bite now, because we should hit first. And we'll Thundershock the Apom. Okay, we might maybe try and heal Flaffy. If it doesn't get hit by Bubble Beam. I think Fluffy's down. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna send in Noctowl. That Mantine is just trouble. I need to get it out. Alright, let's go for... Let's go Noctowl. I'm gonna start throwing... Like, I'm gonna bite Mantine still, but I'm going to throw a Pokeball. So let's throw a Great Ball. Just to see if we can get it. Because the sooner we get it out of the way, the better. It's almost been 40 minutes of this recording, oh my goodness. Let's go. Alright, we got it. We got it. Good deal, good deal. You send out your furry. You don't have a Mantine anymore. Do not have a Mantine anymore. Attack, we'll double attack one of these guys. Um, let's go... See if we can get that Apom out of the way. I'll go ahead and fly. Oh, and you're gonna help out the Apom? Okay, that might be a little scary then. You're just going for Astonish, though. Yeah, see, so you didn't even do that much. Never mind. We're fine. And Umbreon flinched. Of course you did. Okay, I'm pretty sure Fly will take out the Apom, so I'm gonna go ahead and attack the Furret.
Even with the helping hand, you only do four damage to Umbreon, like legit. There we go, A bomb gone. Say, I think she still has another Pokemon reserve, though, doesn't she? Yeah, Yanma. All right, that should not be that difficult because we have Noctowl out. Really? And I'm just gonna go ahead and allow Noctowl to attack that Yanma. The faster it gets, the more annoying it's going to be. So <laughs> we should just take it out as soon as possible. Oh, it's already faster than everyone, so... Except for Furret. Well, Furret used Helping Hand, so... Furret's going first, of course, for that. We should be fine to finish this with just these two. Yep, you there. Should be just fine. Yeah, Sonic Boom again. That'll take Umbreon down pretty low, but we should still be fine. Sonic Boom always does 20. Always does 20. Oh, it didn't take it out. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think we'll be okay still. Yeah, because Fur it's down. So we can just double attack that Yanma and win. Even if Yanma goes for Sonic Boom again, we're fine. Because Umbreon will be left with 6 HP. And I'll just go for a Shadow Rush. Yep, there we go. Umbreon's still alive. Alrighty. GG. Your Mantine gave me some trouble, I will admit. That Mantine was good. Unbelievable, too. Good lord. Let's make ourselves scarce for the time being. Right, Firma. Ultra Super Fire Dash. Bye. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Thank you, you saved me. Do you people know Duking? Uh, yeah, I know him. Okay, I'm a fool. I didn't know what was happening at all. They'd taken Duking's Pokemon hostage. How could they do something so downright dirty? That's why we're here. We came to rescue Puzzle. I'm going to. Not in your condition. You'll have to wait here. We meet again, kitties. Mirror B, you cowardly cheat. Cowardly cheat? That's so not true. Taking a hostage is perfectly fine as a bargaining tactic. You call that a tactic? Puzzle is... Puzzle had better be okay. Oh, the darling couldn't be any safer if it tried. I'm sure it will come to adore me before mu too much longer. You've got to be kidding. Where is it? Give it back. No running for hiding for me. Come to the cave. That's where I'll be. I'll be waiting for you, my pretties. Where's the cave? Oh, wait, the cave out there, right? Means there, right? I'm assuming. Uh, let's go down first, though. Because I think... We'll call this episode here. Because it's been... We've been recording for almost 45 minutes now. That is quite a long time. <laughs> Alright, let's go heal. Um, but yeah, I think we've been recording for quite a while now, so I think this is where we're gonna call this, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I apologize again for how long it's been since we did an episode, but we are back, and it's okay, and we will keep going. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did like it and enjoy it, Please, please, please smash that like button. It really does show your support. Also, comment and subscribe for more videos. Also, make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss out on a video or a live stream. I do them as often as I possibly can. 
And yeah, that'll be it for me today, guys. So thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all next time.